Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the process of us getting our new floors and baseboards installed in our downstairs floor. They do look amazing, but I'm going to be throwing in some clips showing the process and then we're going to head downstairs and get everything put back, get the furniture put back in its place, deep clean because we're also getting ready for my daughter's birthday party tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy this video and we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. So I didn't do the best at filming everything cause I didn't wanna be in the contractor's way, but here we did move all the things in the downstairs on the patio and in the kitchen so they can start in other areas first. So as you can see, they already took out the old flooring and most of the downstairs. And if you're new here, that is the old flooring. We wanted something lighter and brighter. And let me tell you the floors that we picked, it makes our downstairs look so much bigger than it is. Anytime someone walks in now they see it and they're just like, wow, it just looks like a, a much bigger space. So we're really happy that we went with this color. And then they also did inside the pantry, which I think is super nice. Here are the baseboards. We're obsessed with the baseboards. They are a little bit bigger than our old ones and then they have a more modern look than what we had before. So now we're gonna go ahead and just jump in and start putting the downstairs back together, doing some cleaning. I'm going to uh, wash the carpets with my carpet shampooer and all of that fun stuff. Life was dull until you came. I was breathless when we first met. So I meant for this video to go live last week, but we did have a trip to Washington State. We went back home to a baby shower, visit my husband's family, my family. It was so nice, so green compared to Arizona. It's the evergreen state and I just, I love it and I miss it, but I'm very happy I'm in Arizona. I just can't live without the sun. It just brightens up my day. This video came out a few days later than I had planned, but I'm really excited for you to see everything at the end. I give a little tour of how the house came together with the new floors. So what we ended up doing as far as Remy, we found a lady on Rover.com who has a doggy daycare during the week. She also does overnight as well, but we were taking Remy over there from like nine in the morning to six or seven at night and he would hang out there, play with the other dogs, just had a blast. We did that so he wouldn't be around all of the workers that were here and barking at them and all in the mix. So that worked out really well and it took them about four days to do the floors and baseboards and paint the baseboards. So my mother-in-law is helping me today. Without her, I would not have been able to get all of this done with all of the other things that I was doing. So I'm very thankful for that. She helped out a ton. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into shampooing this rug. So this is a very affordable Hoover carpet cleaner that we got from Amazon.
So what I like to do when I'm shampooing the rugs is I like to go vertical and horizontal. So I'm going to go one way and then I'm going to go back over that same area the other way just so I don't miss any spots and I'm giving it that good deep clean. Then I went ahead into my kitchen where I have these two rugs. They didn't look this bad with the dark floors. I wanted to try and clean them to see if they would be a little lighter if they were just dirty, but they're not. They're just this style and I just don't think it fits anymore. They are a darker gray rug. I'm just like, whoa, it's night and day when you compare it to the floors and then this darker rug that has been used for a while now. I decided to roll up both the rugs. I'm leaning towards just getting a nice rug that will go um, under the sink there. So when I'm doing the dishes, water won't hit the floor or anything, but I don't think I'm gonna put rugs throughout the kitchen like I had before. Also here is the water from cleaning the living room rug and a little bit from this one. <laughs> So hard, yeah. Even though I'm the one that broke us, broke us apart, yeah. Now I'm seeing her, watching you. Never felt so lonely, babe. I wanna be the next to you. I keep missing us, miss your touch, missing your body, babe. Tell me what I'm gonna do. Come back to me, come back, baby. I'm actually really proud of us when I'm watching back the clips and I'm just like, we did so much without any help. This is my husband's gaming area and he's still working on simplifying it a little bit, but we did the best we could. I'm gonna show the before and after. I did pull up a few clips from some older videos of our house and I'll give you a little tour of the downstairs. Do you think back on how we parted? It wasn't pretty and I'm so so we are doing a few more updates in our house we have a uh, home depot coming soon to install shutters on our downstairs windows so make sure you guys subscribe if you're new if you want to see which style we go with and how it turns out. Here's the before. These are just a few shots from videos, you guys. It was the best I could do, but you can see what the floors look like and what everything looks like now. We are so happy. We've been living in this house for seven years and we haven't done any updates. I've painted a few rooms in this house and I changed out the downstairs bathroom sink, but that's pretty much it. We also plan to get new couches. We want more of that L shape and just something that is more fitting for the look we're going for. We are trying to transition from that farmhouse style that I had for all those years. You guys have seen all of that type of decor and like my bed set and all of those things are farmhouse, that distressed look. But I've been, you know, changing things a little bit out of out of time. I got rid of the kitchen table and got this more modern kitchen table. I also sold the matching distressed farmhouse coffee table and end table and just change it out with the ottoman for now we're very excited for these updates and i hope you stick around to watch more of the videos and changes that we do in our house
So here is the flooring that we went with. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Also, let me know how you're doing. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And here are some of the birthday pictures from Ava's birthday. We both celebrated our birthday on the 18th and 19th. And she had her party that weekend. Anyway, I hope you're doing amazing. And I will see you in the next one.